if you're out of these three things you want to do just one the questions hi there welcome to my channel i'm going to be talking about my life in the uk test how i prepared for it how the test went and what i think made me pass the first time i wrote it if that's something you like to see sit back relax and enjoy it. I watched my previous video, we did a question together, you saw the kind of questions they asked so I explained what life in the UK test is which is just one of the tests we have to do when you're trying to settle in the UK as a citizen or just a settler. I decided to write mine um, was in November, went on the website to book you, you only book you from the gov.uk website, that's the only place you book your test. You can book three days in advance of when you're going to write it and then apparently you can fail it as many times as you want. I would advise you to actually do that quickly just so that you don't forget everything you had read. First of all, the handbook. So this is the practice questions and then this is the study guide. Reading the book and actually practicing the questions. The other way I think you can study is watching stuff on YouTube. Watching there's this particular video I'm gonna put on the on the description box. It literally talks about the whole book in about one hour 30 minutes. So it's something you watch, you can press pause, just calm down, try and remember things, write things down. Writing down is the third way I wanted to say, you know, you can prepare yourself for the test. So I'm going to put the link because I thought that video was really, really, really helpful. And last one of the list, writing down. So just go into your um, notepad, maybe your Google Docs or your notepad on your phone and just write in notes. So write things like maybe the wars, the battle, but you just write all the years of the wars, who was defeated in the war, who was the king of the war. You know, if you're just doing questions, it's just to write things one, one by one just so that you kind of just have an understanding. At the edge of the papers, they usually like summarize some random things, things like that, you know it. Then people that created things, people that invented things, write them down in your notepad as well. Very important, just a few things. Let's say radar, the Turing machine, the television. Those people, just write their names. As you're answering questions, you'll be getting used to these names. As you Main topics, your test covers are the values and principles of the uk this is one of the easy chapters i think once you read this yourself you would get everything like everything will just stick in your head so you can read this particular chapter yourself the second one what is the uk next a long and illustrious history oh my god this is where i don't think reading only would help you i don't even think reading that part is necessary you can just read one or two paragraphs one or two pages of it go on the questions for this one go on the questions and your notepad for this particular chapter the next one a modern and thriving society so that's i think you should read a bit and do questions a bit as well the uk government its law and your role you know the part you have to play i think questions will help you with this one as well but it's an easy read so if you can quickly read the chapter that will be good if you're out of these three things you want to do just one the questions i'm going to put a link again of a channel that i thought had like a lot of questions so they had i think the last set or some edition something they had about 15 tests each test has 24 questions do those questions these acronyms to learn something like f bling i just remember that f was like the first founding members of the eu yeah i just thought that was interesting also something like king harry the eighth king harry the eighth there's a way i was trying to know his wife's names there was like three catherines and two Anne's and then one i can't remember the first person's name so things like that you know it's when you're reading okay when let's say you answer a question you answer a question and you don't get it right you just want to read more about it you just quickly go on your google or you know this book and find the answer and it kind of sticks in your head a bit yeah so people like Margaret Thatcher just know how important they are the war trafalgar waterloo admiral nelson the first labor um, prime minister you know just those little just know those things but guys it is for the question so i would advise you take your questions let's say i took the 15 one i'm telling you those only questions I took and but I would advise you to take 20, take 20 tests. Don't just take 20 tests and sit down. You can't do 20 tests in a day. So let's say every day you do two, every day you do two, every day you do two, calm down, every day you do two, can digest it, understand what they're even saying, write notes on things you think should just stick in your head. Like the Spanish Armada, you just need 1588, you know, you know, things like that. I knew Queen Elizabeth first that was there. You guys, it gets really confusing with all those kings and queens, like Charles I, Charles II, James I, like they are plenty, and there's the Scottish, there's UK, so it's a lot. So just go in your questions, try and answer every question. When you even finish doing the question, you can go back again and see if you can actually answer them right. Trust me, if you're able to finish 15 questions, 
within that week you're taking your test you'll be fine you can do these questions 20 of them now you're taking a text in, in next month you would forget so as your test is coming the day before your test you can calm down and maybe just be looking at your notes but prior to your test let's say that week do two questions every time do two questions go back to the questions sometimes because i remember when you're lying now you just think ah, what even happened here what even happened there? the singing sisters what happened you know little things like that names of the amount of people in the jury the age you can that year where women say voting 1918 the year where they were still with the same age as guys at 21 1928 then the year where everybody said you know at, at 18, <laughs> is it 19, I can't remember. You know, so things like that is when you're doing your questions, you, and then you will see how they ask, ask the questions. And luckily, again, when you're doing the questions, like there could be in a test, usually I'm sure there are like two questions that can remind you of each other. Jeez. I'm there are like two questions that can remind you of each other. She gets to pay attention, just that could be your luck. And so then again, some tests I'll take. Oh my god, I'm like, jeez. If, I, if they give this a lot of feel, but they are so that I, I feel like yes, I'm that confident, you know. But it took time to get there. It took time to get there. Some days I left there weeks. I just because I was actually moving my date. If you watched the other video, I moved my date twice because I had visitors and I knew I was going to have fun. I'm going to give them my house to play well. You go for your test um, outside. Mine, I already known the place because one time it was close to the station. So one time I went to the station and I saw, oh my god, this place I thought was a cyber cafe. It's actually where they do the citizenship, the real citizenship at the top. And then so you just get there, you stand outside. It depends on how things are going. But when I went, it was kind of empty. I think my appointment was 10. So I got there like 9 30. You're supposed to be there 30 minutes before the time. We got there, sat down with everyone. They gave us numbers, set, checked your temperature to see if the um, temperature was high. They did search us. I think they just said put off your phone. No, like well, as you're entering here, just switch off your phone. So we all sat down and they said go upstairs, went upstairs and called you one by one. So once they call you, they literally you move your face mask, they check that you're the person on the passport, you bring your form of identity, whatever you use to book the test, you bring it. So they check that, make sure it's you, ask you your name, ask you your date of birth. So no stuttering. Anyway, when you <laughs> when you don't want to kill your test, why would you stutter? So you do that and then um, they send you, I think once you're done with that, you go straight into the room and sit down and the guy comes and just tells you how to start, you do four practice questions. Guys, when I got my practice questions, there were things I knew, I was so angry, I was like, why are you putting these easy things in my past, in my practice? Because it means once it's in the practice, it will be the main thing. But yeah, I just sat down and took my test, took my test. So while I was taking the test, normally you have 24 questions, you have to pass 18 of them. You have to pass 18 of them to get 75%. So while I was writing, with the ones I was sure of, I wrote down, you can ask for a paper and pen, but they didn't give me paper, they gave me like a white board that could be cleaned off and a marker. So let's say number one, I wasn't sure, I just write number one, do, 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 number 15, I write number 15. So when I was done, I realized I wasn't sure of six. So at this point, I kind of knew in my mind I had passed because if I'm so sure of a sin, and I'm not sure of six to get like I that six I can still gamble and even get one or two. Something about Robbie. One question I mean about Robbie Moore, Bobby Moore, who he was at in a successful thing. I was like, okay, English, England is just successful in football and I just showed football and it was the right answer. But as at that time I did not know. So it was one of my questions I did not know. And there's some questions that you actually read, but because of the way the question is, like advice or is it appointed? <sighs> So yeah, so I just read the six of them that I wasn't sure of. Went again because I have tendencies to be careless, so I could see something Christmas Day, 25th to December. I'm gonna write basically write B instead of C. Do you get that kind of thing? So I made sure I went through all my questions again. That okay, yes, this 18. I'm so sure the answers are right. Went back to my six, looked at them, looked at them, just chose answers for them, and I was like, yeah, I've done. So I clicked my test. The test lasts for 45 minutes. I was done in 15 because I was done and I didn't want to be sitting there. So once you submit your test, you end the test and that's it. One of the girls in my room actually ended her test at her second question. Like, still in the beginning, she had ended my test. We made a mistake. I think when she was trying to go back to flag it or something, she should have clicked to end test and it ended. So they were saying she had to do the test again, but I don't know if it was that same day. So just be careful, calm down, relax. Just make sure you have stuff in your head. The kind of questions, by practicing questions, you know the, kind, the way they ask their questions. You get so try to be careful so it's like i can't deceive you with a question with the way it's asked then again when you see the other options you will know that come it has to be you know just read your questions as well there's some things that you either know or you don't know so the more you do your practice questions the more things stick in your head the more you think about things as well the higher your chances of passing your test
So once I was done, um, we were like to go out and you, they just told you you get an email. So I got off, put on my phone, there was an email from Life in UK literally, but it was a code. So you literally had to go to the website where you booked your test, put the code in, click, sorry, log in and click results. And it will tell you pass or fail. So I, when I just opened it and I saw my pass, I was like, God, my God. I was so excited. I was actually buying stuff. And yeah, Ashad was very happy. And I don't wish they actually showed me the ones I failed, you know. I was not really digging, trying to see them. They tell me this was one or if I even failed anything or whatever. Yeah. So guys, that's serious. I wrote my test for the first time. I passed it the first time. And that was because I did a lot of practice questions. So that's about it. I don't want to ramble too much. These videos are already, already so long. So guys, please celebrate with me. Thank God for me. Got this over with. <laughs> Such a good feeling please click this thumb up button if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't click the bell right beside the subscribe button drop a comment because i love to read from you see you in the next episode guys bye bye